all right guys welcome back to my youtube channel is digi designs and today we're going to be creating a very simple social media design or social media flyer anyone you can call it without wasting much of our time let's get to it so first of all we're going to be working with um one five by one five pixels and our resolution is going to be 300 and the rest of the um, details is being shown on the screen so we create our file so the first thing we're going to do is to give a background so I'll use my rectangle to, to create the background to start with yeah then I'm going to give it a color of a shade of blue um, depending on the um, brand they are working for yeah let me use this blue for now yeah then I'll bring in my company, the company that has the social media design. So maybe I bring I bring in their logo. I've separated the files I'm using for the this particular tutorial. So I'll bring in the logo. Yeah, this is the logo. So um, because I want to use a blue background and I also want the logo to be visible, so I'm going to. Put the logo on a white rectangle like at the back of it so at least the logo, the logo can be visible i don't know if you understand so if i draw my rectangle i can just come here and i scale the logo to fit in the rectangle properly but it's not going to be too big because it's the logo so let me just put like then i can just give this rectangle from here I can give it a a round or curved edge yeah this is good then maybe I reduce the rectangle a little bit so it won't be so far from the logo then holding my control I can click on the logo thumbnail like this it shows the um, selection line then I can centralize my rectangle while on the rectangle layer around the logo then i press my ctrl d to deselect what i've done so i could just group the rectangle and the logo ctrl g i group the rectangle and the logo then i can just rename it as logo so it's just there then i scale it up a little as i reduce the size sorry a little bit i think this is good and i could also centralize it from my um design so if you are working with the latest version of photoshop you could easily use the smart um guidelines like this line that are showing on the screen but if you're not working with the latest version of photoshop you could just press your ctrl a once you press your ctrl a it selects the whole um the whole dashboard or interface and you could use any of this transform any of this transform tool so i use this middle one. once you press the middle one, it's in the center that's good then I could raise it up a little. So that is the first thing for us. Then also, I don't want personally. I don't want my background to just be plain like that. So I could just bring in a little um, background. I intentionally chose this one. Sorry. I intentionally chose this one. Yeah. So just to give it a little bit of this feeling that something is behind it but it's not really visible like that so I can just work with my blend option let me see I can work with my blend option let me say I use the overlay then probably I could reduce the opacity so it won't be showing too much like that you could also try out other options depending on what you feel like using like you can see the more i click on them as i click on them it gives me a different feeling you get so it might be that the one that might be beautiful to you might be different from the one i want so i even think i think this color dodge is okay let me see if i increase it how is it gonna be okay let me let me test let's, let's work with this one yeah I think this is fine. Then the the social post is just about thanking the um others, 200k others, and all that. So I I will 
type in my text 200k I increase it I increase it like this so I'm going to be using a font um, go bold let's see how it comes out okay I think this is good go bold let me see if there's anyone okay I think this is okay so I'm going to be using this font and I'm going to decrease the spacing in between so the spacing won't be that much like that and I'm going to increase this font okay then <clears throat> then I still use my control A I want to centralize it so once I place my control A it shows me the selection line then I centralize it as you can see So I can increase this one. I can increase the the text a little bit. Let me use the other kind of go board. The regular one. I want to work with the regular. So this is it. Then is I'll type my thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to be using um the autograph font autograph font so it's going to give me that script kind of vibe yes something like this then i use the color i pick i pick a color from the logo i'm going to pick this sky blue color from the logo as you can see so this is it this is awesome so i reduce I kind of increase the spacing. Then maybe I'm going to make this Y and initial caps. Yeah, just like the way it was in the design. It's great. Then I reduce it. I will reduce the thank you. So it won't be that visible like that. Because we are trying to pass the message of the 200k to the viewers. So I added, I want to add a shadow under the thank you. So it gives it that different feeling. So you just watch, once I add the shadow, you can see the way it's showing. So I could just play around um, my blending, the way I'm going to blend the shadow. So let me just reduce the opacity. As you can see, it's still showing. Then I could reduce this one a little bit then increase the size of the shadow just little so it will just it will show that there's something there yeah this is good good so now you have seen that our thank you and our 200k they are cool so i still use my selection to and centralize this is good this is beautiful now after we have done this is now left to bring in our model and I intentionally used the lady that was kind of wild while she was pressing her phone. I bring in the lady. This beautiful lady. I'm going to use her to pass the message to the audience. So you can zoom in and zoom out with your control minus and control plus just want to see the lady very well then there's something i did also i also worked on the ladies the picture in general so it brings out that sharpness and i use my camera or filter to work on that so guys please if you know you're enjoying this video don't forget to like the video to get more audience don't forget to subscribe and also share the video and please your comments is very 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 much appreciated you could comment the next video you want me to upload and if there's anything i'm missing out you could also put it in the comment section i will greatly appreciate so 
working on this i can just work on the clarity and the sharpness of the image just the camera of it i just play around it according to how you feel you want the model you are working on to look like so i don't i'm not going to work much on this just to give it a little bit of different feeling okay this is okay for me then i click okay you see that the difference is going to be there it will be a huge difference from the initial picture okay i think it's coming up okay i've seen it now there's a difference if i off the eye of my camera filter now you see the difference just look at it this was the this was the initial way the picture is and this is when i added the camera camera roll filter to it so this is it so this is beautiful so i then the footer just more like the the last part of the designs is just to type in the words that were written on the flyer i'm going to be making that particular one um white color i'm going to make it in a white color Okay, let me use this particular white okay this is great so i could just zoom it out so i can see what i'm i'm typing i could zoom it out so i could see what i'm typing okay yeah this is okay then i i type Maybe um thank let me reduce the text so you could see it very well. Then now maybe let me work with poppins as the font we are going to be using to type this. I'll work with poppins. So I type thank you. Thank you for making us wish this milestone. Yeah, then we can change the color to let's just say either black or a darker shade of the blue. I could use any one of them. I reduce it and maybe I could just increase the spacing. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So then I I align it to the center. I'll go, I'm going to align it to the center of the design in general. Like I said, if you're not using the latest version of Photoshop, you could just work with the um the Ctrl A so you could centralize it very well. This is nice. Then I add the address, sorry, the um website address. So I'm going to give it a round like I drew my rectangle, so I'm going to give the rectangle a round edge. Then I give it a color with a shade of blue also. And I think I picked the color from their logo probably this color as you can see but i could also use a darker shade of this color also so you see the color code here 06033f so that's fine i zoom out so i can see what we are doing very well let me reduce this rectangle a little bit i reduce the rectangle a little bit this is nice so i press my ctrl a and I centralize it, then I can type the website www.clouds.com. Definitely, the color cannot show on that until I change it to a lighter color. So I'm going to use white, the white, white, white color. 
space is nice and like i said if you want to um align a particular layer to another layer you need to control and click on the thumbnail so i want this text over here to sh to be in the center of this rectangle so i will click once i hold my control the thumbnail is going to show so i click on it and select the rectangle so i can align my text properly inside the rectangle i don't know if you understand yeah so this is beautiful then i can just group the text and the rectangle and name it as the website website is awesome so so that's it so now we are done with the i mean i can see it's looking good but then i felt like i should add more spice to the design to bring out more beauty so i introduce emojis and some other thing the element so this is it so this love i'm going to bring out the love on first just like wow we be love you guys thank you and all that so i bring in the love face the heart face emoji or love face emoji anyone that you can call it then also it comes with a white background so then i can just use my magic eraser tool over here to eliminate the white background so click, on it, you click on yes then you can eliminate the white background easily without any any disturbance so that's it then after then i can i will have to convert this thing back to a smart object and convert it back to a smart object so why this converting because we want to add an effect to it a blow effect so after it has converted i can just reduce the i can just reduce the size of the the emoji yeah this is it no no it's too small it's too small let me increase it a little bit wow okay this is this is better then i can put it somewhere here let it stay somewhere here so i will have to add i want to add a blur effect and i'm going to be using the motion blur as the word implies motion blur it blurs in motion so you're going to see the effect the motion blow has on the on the emoji so i can increase it to like 16 so you can see the way it is yeah this is okay this is okay so i click okay once i'm done i click on my okay so you can see the way the emoji is on the blow is on the emoji then i also bring in my instagram heart love the icon also okay reduce it reduce it I will use it a little bit after I reduce it where is it ok I think it's somewhere ok this is it so we're going to be using that same way we and we deleted the background and this magic eraser tool it works mainly for plain background for plain background so we're going to be using the magic eraser tool to erase this background from this kind of white background from the design okay this one is not working we need to reduce we need to increase the tolerance so let me put it as maybe 50 Okay, you can see it has taken it away. Yeah, as you see, so we deleted the background easily. Then we convert also to smart object because we're going to add our motion blur to it. Also, I'm going to be adding the same motion blur to it. 
so I can bring this somewhere here and reduce it a little bit so it won't be too big okay this is nice this is nice yeah you can move it somewhere okay this is it so we could add our motion blur and it gives us that blur feeling but this time around in a motion in a motion way okay see as you can see so we click on ok that's it then also i decided to add it to the other side of the design that is on the left and the right side of the lady so i press my ctrl j to duplicate you press your ctrl j then after it duplicates the the heart layer of the sorry the this instagram love dvd icon because i want to put it on the other side of the lady so with your ctrl t you could just transform it to the other side that's you flip it the other way around okay you flip horizontal horizontal okay that's it you flip it horizontal then i'm now i'm going to move it to this side as you can see i've moved it to this side then i'm going to reduce this one a little bit i'm going to reduce it a little bit so it won't be the same size with this particular one and then if you're following me so it won't be the same size so i'll reduce it ctrl t okay then i'll reduce this small This is small. I think this is too small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Then that has it. So this is it, guys. Wow, it's looking good. Uh -huh, let's I forget. Let's we're going to type the order because we're saying thank you for thank you 200k order to so, the order. to be using the same color oh sorry orders we will be using the same color as the thank you and we'll be using the same font as the thank you too so we'll work with that same go bold go bold But this time around, this one will, it won't be too big like that. Let me reduce this. Then I can make this font 24. Yeah. So you see. I make it 24. So I'm going to align it to this, um, to the end of this K. So this line now, I'm gonna see it is at the edge of the key. So that's it. Or oh, let me let me increase the the shade of this blue, so it could be more visible. 
Yeah, this is good. This is good. As you can see, so this is just a simple way of creating this kind of social media post. Please, guys, don't forget to like this video, comment, share this video, and also if there's any particular video you want me to create on Photoshop or any design whatsoever, you can just put it in the comment section. I'll be glad to design and bring the tutorial to you guys. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.